But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, you know, maybe it's too late for some of you, maybe it's too early, whatever it is. But you know, for me, uh, doing what we need to do is more important than your timing. So whoever is here is more than welcome. We don't care about how big the number or how small. People are not expecting me, it's fine. Uh, as you see in the title here, we have a question which no Muslim they are ready to answer. You know, Mohammedan always, they try to sell out for us an idea that Muhammad is coming from Abraham. <clears throat> There's thousands and thousands of videos made by Muslims, articles, and etc. Claiming that Muhammad is from Ishmael, Muhammad is Abrahamic, Muhammad is a believer of Allah. And then we find you know, a big scholar like Sheikh Uthman, <clears throat> in case you do not know, Sheikh Uthman, he have the highest, highest elementary school degree in Afghanistan. Therefore, he is the biggest scholar in the whole country of Afghanistan. And I have to witness for this man that he is the best between all those who call scholars in YouTube. He's a YouTube scholar, you know, who do not know how to recite a verse in the Quran, who he do not know how to read a verse in the Quran, but he is a sheikh, you know. However, the sheikh, he come to us with uh, sometime with some jewels. And this is the jewel which I want to talk about today. He, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. So Muhammad, he do not know who is Gabriel and why because he is not coming from Abrahamic faith. So this is my challenge to the Muslims, to Muhammadan, to the black stone kissers, to those people who go around this black room, who is wearing a skirt, which is weird. If Muhammad was not Abrahamic, and he never heard of Gabriel, so what he was, in the first 40 years of his life. Do you think any Muhammadan he will be able to answer? Listen, Muhammadan, you say Christian Prince's line, you say Christian Prince, uh, he, whatever. This time it is not me who is saying your prophet is not Abrahamic. This time is the biggest sheikh in Afghanistan. He's very well known to do Bachabazi boys party, which qualify him to be the, the mufti of Afghanistan. So, when your mufti, Sheikh Uthman, say that Muhammad was not Abrahamic, all of you have to shut up. Don't ever again come to us and lie, say he was Abrahamic. 
when your Sheikh Uthman says that this man Muhammad, he never even heard of, of Gabriel, then the question is, what Muhammad was doing for 40 years, watching Mickey Mouse? 40 years old man, he never heard of Gabriel. The whole population of Mecca is not even 2,000 people. So what Muhammad was hearing from his people around him? That's mean if Muhammad never heard of Gabriel before, that's mean nobody in Mecca heard of Gabriel before. If people of Mecca, they knew about Gabriel and Muhammad do not know, that's mean Sheikh Uthman saying that Muhammad is a stupid man. Literally. Because everybody in Mecca knows about Gabriel except Muhammad. So which one you choose? If you say he never heard because he is not Abrahamic and all the tribe is not Abrahamic, then all the Quran is a fabrication. Why? Because the Quran says that Allah, he sent Abraham supposedly to Mecca and he actually the one who raised the foundation of the Kaaba. As we will see in this verse. Chapter 2, verse 127. And here we ask ourselves, the one who was not Abrahamic, have, you, have he ever heard about Abraham? What do you think? What do you think? The one who never heard about Gabriel, is it possible that he heard about Abraham before? Obviously not. And not only that, the Quran confirm that people around Muhammad, they accuse him to be an innovation and he is a false fraud. This is a chapter 46, verse number 9. And not only that, the Quran confirm that Muhammad was lost. Actually, he was dalan fahada. Dalan, the translation here saying he was erring. What erring? What does that mean? So Muhammad was erring for 40 years. What does that mean? 40 years of error life Muhammad he has. 40 years. The Quran says Allah forgive not those who associate with him. Did he forgive to Muhammad to be erring for 40 years? And then we find in the yellow page of Muhammad, another verse saying that we, which is very funny by the way, and I will tell you why, he says, and thus we have sent to you Muhammad, Ruhana, Ruhana is our spirit, or Ruhan, a spirit, from our command, Okay. And you know not what is the book and what nor what is faith. I mean, how clear Muhammad he made it. So Muhammad did not know anything about any book, any scriptures, any teaching have to do with Abraham. And this is what the Mufti of Afghanistan, the Bachabazi Mufti, he confirmed as we see in this video, which is very thankful for him. And this is why we need support this guy, for he is priceless. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. They are pagan. The people of Mecca, they are pagan, and he is one of them. So you see, he put it all together. He did not know who Gabriel is, because he was not, because, so that you see that, you see how the connection, because he was not from the Abrahamic faith, and because people of Mecca are, are, are pagan. So Muhammad, because he was pagan, he did not know who was Gabriel and he did not know who was Abraham. And here we ask ourselves, when the Muslims they say that Muhammad is descendant from Abraham, have you ever heard of somebody do not know his, 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 
his ancestor. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever heard of somebody who do not know of his ancestor so if you do not know about the Abrahamic faith that's me you do not know about Abraham if the Quran says that we found you living in error and misleaded and misguided then we challenge this potato to tell us how Muhammad was misguided for 40 years and why Allah did not guide Muhammad for 40 years. And Muhammad, when he was misguided by who? Isn't it the Muslim they believe that everything is by the will of Allah? So if Muhammad was misguided, that means Allah he deceived Muhammad for 40 years. And actually the Quran says it clearly, Dalan, not erring, as they say here in the Dal. Dal, you know, like it can be lost. Uh, it can be, uh, uh, you know, like if I'm talking about somebody, he 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 lost the street direction, uh, physical direction. We 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 can use Dal. Uh, we can speak about somebody like he's a lost child, which means he is a drug dealer. He is a pimp. This is what Dal mean, you know. And we can find this word all over the Quran, by the way. If I copy it as it is, and I go here to the yellow pages of Muhammad, and I just paste in the search engine the word Dal, I will do it in the front of your eyes. No, because there is a Tashkil, the search engine is bad. So let us, let us type it. <clears throat> Nothing is nothing is coming. This is this is how bad the search engine is. <laughs> but anyway, you see in Arabic, Allah He said, Yudil. You remember the the Muhammadan who called me today, and we asked him about how Allah He uh, He deceived. He said, No, it doesn't say He's deceived. It says misguide. Allah He misguide. All right. Uh, so when Muhammad was dal, he was misguided by Allah. Then we need to ask ourselves, why Allah, he misguided Muhammad? In chapter 16, verse number uh, 37, you will see a very hilarious verse. It says, Though you are a art ever, uh, uh, ever so eager to guide them, guide guide not those whom he mislead he lead astray. <laughs> Do you see it? <laughs> Allah will not lead. This is the Muslim translation, not mine. My translation is different, and I will translate to you. But the Muslim who called me today in the previous episode. He said that the word yudil mean misguide. So if we go by his translation, misguide, here it says he lead astray. So Allah he guide not who whom whom he lead astray. But as long as Allah is the only one who lead astray, because the shaitan, the shaitan is an employee for Allah, as many verses in the Quran confirm. And Allah Himself is the one who misled. The shaitan. And this is confirmed in the Quran. This is why the shaitan, he says, because you misled me, because you deceived me, I'm going to deceive them. Chapter 7, verse number 16. Chapter 15, verse number 39. They confirm the same. Because Allah, he misled shaitan, Actually, here translation is <laughs> getting is is really hilarious. Look what it says. So Shaitan he said, now for thee perverted perverted me. <laughs> Allah he made Shaitan perver per perverted. <laughs> You see how good this one? 
So Allah, he made shaitan perverted. And then shaitan, he made him perverted so he can pervert you. So Allah made shaitan perverted. He's a pervert, sorry. Pervert him, you know. So Allah, he made shaitan per pervert person. And then shaitan, he says, okay, because you did that, I'm going to do that to them. Allah, he agree, no problem. And what make it more funny, Allah, he said to, uh, to the shaitan in different verse, you have no power over my good servant. As we see in chapter 15, verse number 39. So he said, oh Lord, for thee per 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 perverting me, I shall deck all their fear to them on earth. I shall pervert them all together. So the first person who became a pervert is shaitan. And why he became a pervert? Because Allah, he is the pervert God. He made shaitan a pervert. And then Muhammad, he said, And by the way, here, there is a mistake in the Arabic. Because shaitan supposedly is the one who's talking. And then right away, the verse after it says, except those who the servant among them that are devoted. So shaitan, how he can, you see here, the stupidity is amazing. If they are, if, if shaitan, he can only perverted those who they are not devoted that's been already they are perverted do, do you understand how you are going to pervert pervert or misguide or mislead the one only the one who is not a true believer that's mean he is already misguided is that a true believer do you see the stupidity But here, Allah, he confront to him, he says, over my servant shall, no, shall have no authority except those who follow thee. Now, let us connect the dots together. We are talking about chapter 15, reading from verse number 39 to 42. So take a note, please. In verse number 42, it's convert that over my servant, shaitan, he have no authority. Servant who? Those are the one who is serving Allah. Question. Is Muhammad one of the servants who serve Allah? For sure, the Muslim will say yes. Okay. But we just heard the Mufti of Afghanistan, peace be upon him, saying that Muhammad was not Abrahamic, he do not know what Abrahamic faith, and he never heard of Gabriel. Again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. So he is a pagan from the people of the pagan, and he do not know who is Abraham. He never heard of Gabriel. Bingo. So when the Quran says that Allah says, you have no authority, he's speaking to Satan. You have no authority over my good servant. And then we find in the other verse in the Quran that Muhammad was erring, which means he was erring for 40 years. So he was misguided by Satan. Which means, in this moment at least, Muhammad, he was not from the servant of Allah. Because remember, shaitan exists before the Quran anyway. So the Muslim, they can't say, oh, this is later. Shaitan exists since time Adam and Eve. So if Satan, he will only have authority over those who they are not decent, the perverted one, the fake believers, and Allah, he confirmed that, he says to shaitan, you have no authority over my good believers. And as you see, chapter 93, verse number 7 says, 
Muhammad was perverted person and Allah confirmed that he is the one who guide thee. If he is guided, you don't need to guide him, right? So this is, was his situation. Didn't he find you, find you, found you actually, wajadaka in, in the past. Did he not find you, the erring? And then we continue, we find more disasters where the Quran says, that Muhammad, he have no faith. He do not even know what faith is. And he do not know any scriptures. Connecting that to the Mufti of Afghanistan, Sheikh Uthman, may Allah bless his, you know, you know the thing. Who he said by word, he do not know who is Gabriel, and because he is not coming from Abrahamic faith. This is confirmed this verse that Muhammad he do not know anything about the scriptures, and he know nothing about Abraham, and this is why he do not know who is Gabriel. So Muhammad obviously for forty years of his life was worshipping idols. Remember carefully, it says here, you do not know even what is faith. Focus with me, people. I don't, want to like, I don't like to see silly comment in the chat. He do not know what is faith. Not he knew some of the faith. Not he learned some of the faith and he was wrong in some other stuff. Nor what is faith. He have no idea. So he have zero knowledge of his scriptures. The Quran confirmed that. You know not what is the book. Remember the Quran called the Christians and the Jews what? Called them the people of the book. What does that mean? the people of the scriptures. So Muhammad, he know nothing. Zero. And then the questions to the Muslims, which they will never answer and be my witness. I challenge any Muslim to make a comment. Or I challenge any Muslim to call me when we come online again to answer this question. As long as Muhammad, he do not know the Abrahamic faith. And he was not Abrahamic as Sheikh Uthman, peace be upon him, said. Allah pray for him, not to him. And he was from Quraysh, which is a pagan, as Sheikh Uthman said. And he never heard of Jibreel, which is very weird. Because why a person who lived between in a city has, you know, Christians, Jews, supposedly, whatever Muslim they claim. And how somebody, he claimed that the one who built the Kaaba is Abraham, which means the whole city, the foundation of the city is based on Abraham and what Abraham is. How this person never heard of the faith of Abraham? The teaching of Abraham. He never heard even about Gabriel. So what he was doing for 40 years, obviously he was an idol worshiper. And nothing changed actually after he became or announced himself as a prophet. In the beginning, Muhammad, he tried to make the Jews accept him. But when the Jews refused him, Muhammad, he decided to switch his remote control. So he stopped praying to the direction of Jerusalem. And here you ask yourself, as long the one, as long the Kaaba is the most important place for Allah, and Jerusalem is the second place, so why Muhammad was not praying to, why he stopped praying to the Kaaba? Muhammad, he said, if 10 of the Jews only believed in me, 
the Muslim, they add line, stuff is not in the hadith. They say here in translation, if only 10 Jews between two bracket among their chiefs, that's a lie. There's nowhere it says that in Arabic. Here we go. This is the hadith in Arabic. If 10 of the Jews believe in me, definitely the Jews will believe. So Muhammad, he failed to make the Jews believe in him, obviously, because he's a fraud. Not even 10. Right? Uh, uh, we have Mr. Uh, Salman saying the following. Let me translate uh, what he said to you. If you don't mind, Mr. Salman, you can translate your text for us, please. So people, they can see how Muslims, they refute us. <laughs> Let me give you an example of, of the Islamic uh, I don't know what the, I don't want to be insulting to you, Salman. I'm trying to be nice to you, but of the Islamic stupidity. He said, we don't take our religion except with the original language. Well, I'm reading for you in Arabic. And as long as you don't take your religion except in your original language, so how Muhammad will give his language to somebody like this guy from Afghanistan? Can you believe it? He don't accept to take his religion except in the original language. The Quran confirmed that Allah never sent the messenger except in the tongue of his people. That additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud. He cannot be a messenger to Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, Germany, etc. And then he continues saying, and not by cutting off verses or chapters to small. Well, here you defeated yourself because as I know, your prophet never received the Quran as a book, which means the Muslim, they receive tiny verses one by one. They did not receive a book. So you are saying to me that Islam was wrong when Muhammad was given small verses at the time because there was no book. Actually, even the Quran says, Inna alayna jam'uhu wa Qur'anuhu. It is on us to collect the Quran. There's no Quran. To, it's not collected even. Well, Mr. Salman, do you like to call me? Do you like to call me? Or you are afraid? So look what he said. He said the Quran connect each other. Well, this is what we did. I showed you the verses speaking about Muhammad do not know anything. I'm connecting the verses together. Can you oppose it? Go ahead. And instead of complaining about what I said, what about give me the refutation of what I said? Do you see how much they are in disability? He cannot refute, he can complain. This is what they do. All those who call me today in the previous uh, uh, program, they complain. A Muslim, he speak about contradiction. Jesus died in Jerusalem or outside of Jerusalem? Well, Jerusalem is Jerusalem. Jerusalem is not just a wall. Like what, the, the king of Jerusalem, his, his Jerusalem is ended 10 meters away from the wall? If we go and measure how far the court, how far the center of the city of Jerusalem, from where Jesus was crucified, we will find not even 700 meters. According to the Mohammedan, this is not Jerusalem. If you are 700 meters from the center. But Muhammad, who never met Abraham, Muhammad, he never received the scriptures. Muhammad, who never knows what faith, and the Quran confirmed that. Muhammad, who the Quran said, we send you to Mecca and what is around it. 
suddenly what is around Mecca is okay to be Japan and Pakistan and India and etc. Hypocrisy of Mohammedan is beyond imagination. And uh, as long we have Mr. Salman here, and he is voluntarily trying to answer us, saying nothing except complaining, as long you heard your prophet, your friend, sorry, Sheikh Uthman, who is a big mufti from Afghanistan, saying that Muhammad was not Abrahamic. So Mr. Salman would like to tell us what was his faith? Who is a Muslim can tell us what was the faith of Muhammad as long he was not Abrahamic? Any Muhammadan? Yeah, complain again. And from people who, you know, who, 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 uh, who debate Allah about Allah, but they do not know anything. And they don't have, uh, uh, they don't have knowledge of the book, you idiot. You just, I just showed you your Quran itself saying that Muhammad, you do not know anything about the book. So how your prophet, he is going to argue with us, isn't it your Quran says? To Muhammad, if you have a doubt about what we gave to thee, give us the people of the book. So you are saying to us, we do not have knowledge when the Quran says to Muhammad, go and ask the Christians. Who is the stupid here? So according to you, we Christian, we have no knowledge. Then your stupid God call us people of the book. Who is the donkey here? How we have no knowledge and then your stupid God call us people of the book. How you say we do not have knowledge in the book and your God call us the people of the book? Do you see how stupid this cult is? They are desperate to defend, but they have nothing to say. And now he is saying you are attacking our religion? This is your method? All your Islam is attacking our belief. I mean, look how they complain about it. They do poo, poo all the way. Christians, please Allah. They, they pray five times to Allah, five times a day, saying, please don't make us the same as the lost Christian and the cursed Jews. And now he's saying, are you attacking our religion? <laughs> Get out of here. I don't have time for potato. Cry, baby, cry. Cry. Until now, you gave me no answer for anything. You are just a crying like a baby. Go, go join the school of a breastfeeding for adults so you can earn some knowledge. Actually, I have the principal, she called me today, and she offered a free breastfeeding for adult. Maybe if she breastfeed you, you will become stronger, and then you will give me the answer. Who is the Muslim want to give me the answer? Muhammad was not Abrahamic, we heard Sheikh Uthman. He never even heard what is Gabriel, we heard him. His people, they were pagan, obviously he was pagan. But I want you to confirm to me what was the religion of Muhammad as long he was not Abrahamic. I will leave this challenge for the Muhammadan. And I would like to see who is the smart Muslim he can help us. If he is not Abrahamic, he is not Abrahamic, that's it. So what is left? What is left? When this Abdul, Bachabazi, Sheikh Uthman, he said that Muhammad was not Abrahamic. And I do not know how many times I need to repeat it to you because you people are slow. It says, he said it clearly, he was not Abrahamic. There's no doubt about what he said. He was not Abrahamic. Listen carefully. He, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The he did not come from Abrahamic faith to explain why he don't know Gabriel. So this guy, he never heard of Jesus. Because everybody knows that the angel came to Mary to tell her the news, right? 600 years before Muhammad. So he did not know who is Gabriel. He do not know who is Abraham. Yet the Quran says that the one who built the Kaaba is Abraham. Any Muhammadan? Any 
Anyone have an answer for anything? And as you see, we are supporting what Sheikh Uthman is saying. May Allah bless him and give him more uh, little children wives, six years old wife like Muhammad. The Quran confirmed that Muhammad, he was not a believer in anything. He did not even know what faith is. And he did not know anything about scriptures. Any Muhammadan? Do we have any Muhammadan here who would like to say anything? And now we ask ourselves, why Allah he will choose someone who knows nothing about faith? Why Allah will choose someone? He was misguided by him. Because as you see, the one who guide people to faith is Allah. And the one who misguide people to faith is Allah too. So if he was misguided for 40 years, he was misguided by Allah. The one who is typing for me, putting my name there in different language, so either you speak in my language, my friend, the one I understand, or I will block you. Please, if you, even if you are a Christian, because you are posting something, you put my name next to it, and I have no idea what you are saying. If you are trying to talk to those who speak the language, maybe you can type it twice, you know, put uh, your language and your English next to it, so we can understand. Any Mohammedan would like to tell us what is the belief of your false prophet 40 years anyone I'm waiting for any Muslim who have any knowledge to tell us anybody And actually, things get more complicated if we want to go in details. You see, when the Quran says that Allah, he sent Abraham, and Abraham, he is the one who raised the Kaaba. Isn't it the Quran says that? It says that clearly in chapter 2, verse 127. So obviously Abraham was there. Otherwise, how Abraham here is the foundation of the Kaaba if he is not was not there. And not only him was there, even Ishmael, according to the Quran. Okay. Abraham, Ishmael were there, and even according to Muhammad, the people of Mecca, they are from Ishmael, and the family specifically of Muhammad, they are from Ishmael. So how people they are from the family of Ishmael, they never heard, and they are not Abrahamic faith. Anyone can tell me? A Muslim saying to me, you are so stupid, CP. Have you heard of Nawahid, convenient fool, Nawahid, Convenient come before Abrahamic, Esitos. Uh, no, I did not hear about Nawahid. Can you tell me about Nawahid? Can you show it to me in your book, Mr. Nawahid? Go ahead, give me the verse in the Quran that says that there is before Abrahamic faith, there's Nawahid. I want to know what is Nawahid. I never heard of this before. Stop posting again and again. You're spamming. G give me the proof. What is Nawahid? Nawahid. 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 <laughs> oh, here you are. So you're a prophet. He did lie. And look, as long as Abraham and Ishmael were there, and then we go in the Quran, we will find that no. Nobody was there before Muhammad. It is a big fat lie. The Quran confirmed 
that Allah he never sent any warner before Muhammad to Mecca. And this is the verse which is saying that in the front of our eyes. Let us open it. <clears throat> <laughs> You know, when, uh, when, uh, uh, when a person, he claimed to be a prophet of God, and then he keep talking, and the more he took, talk, the more he do poo-poo. That is what is a price is for us. Chapter 34, verse number 44 says, we have not given them any book to study, nor we have sent them any warner before you. Allah never sent a warner. Allah never sent a book to Mecca before you. Do you see it? Any Muhammadan? So how Muhammad was a messenger for Mecca? Who never have a messenger before him? Neither a warner, neither the message, neither scriptures? According to Quran, did Abraham have scriptures? The answer yes. Suhof Ibrahim. Chapter 87, verse number 19. The Quran mentioned the scroll of Abraham and Moses. So how the stupid Muhammad in different place, he says that Allah never sent the messenger to Mecca, neither a message, neither a scriptures, and then we find that Abraham is the one who built the Kaaba and even his son, and according to Muslims, Ishmael is a prophet. So we have two prophets in one town. Two prophets in one town. Abraham, he have his scriptures. Yet the stupid Quran says, Muhammad was the first one to send to Mecca and nobody was sent to them before him. And look carefully, it says before thee. So the Muslim cannot say in the time of Muhammad, it says before thee. Now a story is known in our culture because it's true, you stupid idiot. That is a proof that now a story in the Bible is true because why, why the story will be hidden if the flood was universal? I mean, look at the stupidity of those people. The simple answer is stupid. You know, everybody you know the story of Noah. Yeah, because it was universal. The flood was not in my backyard only. Where does dummy chemistry comes to me from? Even in the Chinese alphabet, it is speaking about the flood of Noah. That is confirming the Bible. Why? Because it, it says that the whole earth was a flooded. So why only the Jews will know about it, stupid idiot? <laughs> Don't get married. It's not fair for your children's sake. How painful to have a stupid daddy. And not to mention how, how painful it is to have a stupid husband. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to tell us what was the religion of Muhammad when he was not Abrahamic then? They don't know. They have no idea. They have no idea.
obviously Islam is nothing but fabrication. This book is full of contradiction. And the funny is that Mimi Hijab, when he got an atheist, he thought he would side with him against Christianity because this guy is anti-Christianity and anti-Christ. And he mentioned to him, what is the proof that Islam is from God? He said to him, well, you know what? I have a news for you. If a book is, if a book has no contradiction, well, obviously it is from Allah. I mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> <laughs> they brought the atheist to beat us. The atheist, he gave a finger to Allah. Big finger. Without Vaseline. If the logic of Muhammad in his Quran, which is supposedly the logic of Allah, that if a book have no contradiction, this book is then it is from Allah. Well, as we see, we, we showed you just many contradiction in 15 minutes. And as this Burat, he said, he's, it's a, it was a smart answer, actually. I like it. I have a phone book in Arabic, has zero contradiction. Does it mean it's from God? What does that mean? I mean, what kind of a proof the proof is? I have four books. None of, none of it have contradiction. I must be God then. Hey, Muslims, worship me. I have books, has no contradiction. I mean, what kind of God he tried to prove himself that he is God because he said there is no contradiction. And then the second we open the Quran, we find millions of contradiction. If we ask the Muhammadan, did Allah created the sky first or the earth? Then you will see all the people coming all over the place. They don't know what to answer. So, we will wait for the Muhammadan to leave their comment. Beside their cursing and insult and etc. It's okay. But I would like to see who is the Muslim who want to tell me. Who want to help our friend Uthman here. We are very thankful for Sheikh Uthman. Very, very great. Priceless. When he said that Muhammad wasn't Abrahamic. And obviously he wasn't Abrahamic for 40 years at least. Because Muhammad became a prophet supposedly after the age of 40. So in the age of 40, 41, suddenly Muhammad, now Abrahamic. So what was Muhammad for 40 years, Muhammadans? But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. I like this guy in the front of Sheikh Uthman. He said to him, yeah, he said, yeah, you know, give me more poo -poo. Ah, ah. <laughs> 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 so Muhammadan, I want you all of you to go to your Sheikh Uthman and tell him thank you for telling the truth, your scientist, scientific scholar who do not know how to read the verse in the Quran, who you claim that the word Qatala is the same as Qutila, <laughs> which means killed, same as you know, imagine, have you ever heard somebody saying that the word, like he said the word in Arabic, you know, he claimed that the two words are the same, but one of them says he would get killed, and the other one it says he killed. I mean, how, how in the world this is the same meaning? From being getting killed, you are getting killed, or being you are killing. For him, it's the same meaning. <laughs> scholar, you know, scholar. I do not know Arabic. And the funny, they told him to write the verse, to write the word. He did not know how to write it. He says, show it to me. I will write it for you. So he's tried to you know, start copying from the Quran. Have you ever heard of a sheikh like this? Oh, boy. Anyway, I think we have enough for today. I will leave this for you guys. And uh, please leave your comment. Uh, you see, I noticed that we have a very high... Uh, view like sometime 20,000, 40,000, and then we got what 200 comment. The question I ask myself is how lazy, how silly people are.
why they don't even have time to make a comment about something we said. Is your brain rusty? Did you decide to put your brain in the shelf? And if this topic is not interesting for you, why you are here? Because obviously the one who don't make a comment, he is not interested. So why we're here? So I invite the Muslims before the Christians to give us the answer. As you see, I want you to help us. Uthman, Sheikh Uthman, he confirmed for us that Muhammad was not Abrahamic. He did not even know what Gabriel explained to us the ignorance of your prophet about Abraham. And then how you claim that he is coming from Abraham, but yet he is not Abrahamic. How you claim that you are from Ishmael, but you do not know what Ishmael and Abraham believe. How in the world that work? How the Quran says, we never send a messenger before thee, even a warner before thee, neither scriptures before thee to Mecca. And then other verse says, Allah, he sent Abraham and Ishmael there. Actually, they are the one who built the Mecca, Mecca according to you Muslims. Obviously, Islam is so stupid and very stupid cult. I want to say thank you for all of you. And as you see, we took you into surprise late on time. It's already 12.36 for me. So I would like to say to you, good day, good night. And I will be waiting for the Mohammedan to post their answer and be my witness. They will talk about anything. We say, why Muhammad is not Abrahamic? They say, we don't believe in Trinity. We say, why Muhammad is not? They say, oh, Jesus, he is not God. Prove to me that Jesus is God. So the question again, Muhammadan, focus with me. I know that Allah did not bless you with any IQ. This is why you believe in him. If you have the IQ, you will leave him. So focus, focus. Sheikh Uthman said, Muhammad was not coming from the Abrahamic faith. The question for you, he was coming from where? He was coming from where? Watch the comment and you will see the Mohammedan saying, okay, well, Trinity is false, okay? Uh, Jesus, he did not die in the cross, okay? And show me where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me, okay? Yeah, Abdul, this is not a question. Muhammad, he did not come from the Abrahamic faith. From where he came? From where? You see, I'm making it long for you. In case you are so slow. And obviously you are. Faith and Prince, I told you. I trained you to tell me one verse that says that this is it, I'm God worth me. Cool. Muhammad did not come from Abrahamic faith. So where he came from? This is the question. Where he come from? Watch, see the comment, and die laughing at the Abdul trying their best to avoid the question, speak about everything except the one thing we ask for. God bless you, and see you soon again. And remember, he is not coming from Abrahamic faith. So from where he come from? Trust me, they heard nothing. They did not get the question yet. And you will see a Muhammadan saying, what was the question? He did not come from Abrahamic faith. So where he come from? Can you repeat again? Abdul. Very cute. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs>
that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 